Okay, so I'm going to try this test on beating up a Samsung 30Q cell. I'm charging it up now. It's a little cold outside, a little below freezing, but the cell is going to be... You're not supposed to charge these cells in freezing temperature, but I'm going to destroy this cell anyway uh, in the name of fun. So I don't really care what happens to it uh, while it's charging in sub-zero weather. It's only slightly below freezing though, so it should charge fine. It's only a couple degrees below freezing. So what I'm going to do is once this thing is charged up, I'm going to start hammering the positive and negative terminals to simulate uh, drops of the of a flashlight with the when it impacts on the springs inside or pegs inside and dents the terminals. And I want to see how much abuse this thing can take. I will be using a hammer, of course. I'm not going to sacrifice a flashlight for this, but I will sacrifice a hammer and nail for this. All right, once this is charged up, we'll be back. Okay, let's measure the voltage. See what we're up to now. Well, that doesn't look good. There we go. All right, 3.9 volts. We've got a little bit to go. I don't know why I'm doing this outside. I should have just power charged them inside. I was going to use this... Um, outside because I was going to try charging a damaged cell after we're done with this experiment but I probably should have just um, done part of it indoors and then moved it outdoors. Oh well, we'll continue like this. All right, let's see what we're up to now. I'm probably just going to go ahead regardless of what it's at. It should be charged up enough by now. You're up to four volts now so that's about 80 percent charged. Um, that's good enough to cause some sparks if there's any problems with this torture test. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hammer and nail. And we're dealing with a uh, Samsung 30Q cell. This is an older cell. I've kind of marked it as a... I'm not, not going to destroy a brand new cell. This one's about uh, two years old. I've used it a fair bit. Um, its capacity is down to about 2,800 milliamp hours now, as opposed to close to 3,000 when they're new. And I've noticed the internal resistance is starting to rise a little bit. So I think it's time to recycle this battery anyway. And why recycle something when you can destroy it? Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a hammer and nail. And I will be using uh, this end of the nail against the terminals of the battery. And I'm just going to put them on there and then smash the nail down on it to try to dent the terminals. I'll start, I guess, with the negative end. Let's go down where it's a little safer. And I'll see if I can get the camera focused well enough there. Does that look good? Okay. Oh, it's all right. Okay, so so we'll start with the negative end. And I'm going to smash that negative end fairly strongly, but not a tremendous amount. This will simulate kind of a, a medium drop. Okay, let's see. So it's a little bit dented in now. Not sensing this is any problems with the cell. Um, let's try that a little harder. Yeah, I can definitely feel it's dented now, and it looks that way too, but it doesn't look like a huge... I don't think... I, I think this negative end's a bit stronger than the positive end, so let's smash the positive end in now. This one is... it's a flat top, so it's pretty much flush with the cell. Let's try that, and we'll smash the top end in. Okay, well that's crushed in nicely. Wow, the, the positive end goes in really well. Yeah, so I smashed that right down into it. I would not want to be using that cell 
it's down probably about three millimeters into the cell. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it's been thoroughly crushed. I don't, I don't feel any heat to the cell. It feels still okay. Um, let's give it a. Now, now I'm starting to get a little nervous myself here, so let's give it another couple smashes. Oh look, I've even removed some of the protective ring there, so I'm risking shorting out the positive terminal and the negative terminal on the can. Okay, that's really pounded in there. Okay, so that, now that would be a massive battery, a massive drop of a light to smash that in. So I'm not seeing a problem with safety with dropping your batteries or dropping your flashlight with the batteries in it. Let's try the negative end again. I'll smash it quite a bit. Okay. Yeah, the negative end, it's much tougher. Again, I'm not sensing anything that's going to heat up the battery or cause it to blow up or anything. Yeah, that's really smashed in. The negative end's really caved in now too, and it seems to be fine. Let's try that a bit more. I think I'm gonna damage my fingers with the hammer before I'm gonna damage them with the batteries. I don't feel any heat. Definitely there's a good pounding in there. There's a lot of dents in that negative end, and of course the top end has been smashed right in. Oh, am I feeling something? No, that's just the cold air. Okay, um, let's try the positive end again then. I'm determined to get this thing to go into boom, and when it does, I'm just going to knock it into the snow. Okay, that's really smashed in well now. Not feeling any heat. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with it other than to drive the nail. Well, it was, this was the pointy end of the nail, but it's flat now that I've been using it to hammer. Um, I'll try it a bit more. Yeah, that's really caved in. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I, I can't see that this is going to be a safety hazard with dropping a flashlight. Now, I wouldn't continue to use this battery. Well, there you go. Okay, let's just leave this for a minute. Okay, I paused that for a little bit because uh, some neighbors were going by and they were probably wondering why is this weirdo pounding a flashlight battery with a hammer and nail? Oh well, they know I'm weird. Well, I mean, I'm not feeling any heat from this battery, so it seems to be that they will take quite a bit of abuse. Um, I mean, I, I know that if you puncture them, they will go. I'm not sure I really want to do that. I'm not sure if I want to be putting up with an explosion with mine battery. But let's try a little bit more pounding on the head. This is the positive terminal. Okay. Yeah, that is really smashed in there. And I'm, the, the, the negative end is a lot stronger much tougher to smash that and the positive end just has that that little post that sticks up and that just goes down right away so that's i think why those things get dented and flattened out really easily i've heard people can pry them back up again but um yeah let me just let me just measure the voltage on this thing and see what it's still at Okay, it's probably 
normally settled down a little bit from where it was when I took it off the charger. But yeah, 3.8, 3.9, so it settled down a little bit. I'm not sure. I guess the charger was using at that point four volts to charge it. I should have measured it when I took it off the charger. But it doesn't look like it's lost much energy if it has lost any. So, I mean, just trying to, I'm feeling this thing. It, it's not feeling warm at all. So it seems to be fairly, it, it hasn't been damaged to the point where it's venting or exploding or catching fire. And I've really been pounding that as if it was the post of the flashlight or spring of the flashlight or something weighing down on it. But, you know, I'm using a hammer to hammer into it. That's going to be far harder than what a flashlight is going to do if you drop it. Um, so I think this kind of dispels the myth that it's dangerous if you drop a flashlight and it uh, dents the terminals of your battery. I think as long as, <laughs> I think, well, I mean, you have to use your own, your own caution. So you might not want to reuse a battery that's been dented, but I would certainly say some minor dents aren't going to cause a safety issue. Now, I certainly would not reuse this battery but um, you know, I don't feel that it would cause me a safety problem, at least while it's still in the flashlight and I'm still using it. Um, obviously the flashlight would stop making contact well before the uh, positive terminal got that bad. But anyway, I'm going to leave this battery outside just in case it does do anything bad. And uh, I will leave a comment below if uh, anything bad has happened to this battery or if anything doesn't happen to this battery. Oh, I thought there might have been some melting there, but that's just the wrap being smashed into the concrete. Okay, so anyway, the battery, other than it being very dented, the battery still seems to be in good condition. Anyway, that's my test for now. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to try to <laughs> stick a nail right through this thing. We all know that lithium-ion batteries can, uh, can explode if you do that. So, anyway, this was my test. We'll talk to you later.